guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is day six of Navrangi Navratri, and today's color is green. So I've done this very green-inspired makeup look and outfit. I wanted to go a little toned down on the eyes and the makeup, but then again, who am I kidding? I never go toned down on my makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy and like it. Anyway, I really like how it turned out. Actually, I hope the whole outfit and everything goes in sync together. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you are. For all the nine days of Navratri, I'm uploading a video each and every day. Also, make sure that you click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. For now, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so to prep my skin today, I'm using the Kama Ayurveda Pure Rose Water Spray and spritzing this on my face. My skin was feeling very dry after all this makeup application, so I'm just going to spritz that to refresh in my skin. Then for the body makeup, I'm going in with the Soul Shimmering Body Oil. I wanted you all to see this in action. So this is super, super pigmented, very shimmery and very oily looking. This is the shade Bronze. I'm just spreading this with an Amazon Kabuki flat top brush uh, on my clavicle and on my shoulder. Uh, now I'm going in for the skin prep with the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. Just applying this in my T-zone like I've been doing and massaging it well into my skin. For foundation, I'm using the Pack HD foundation. I'm using the shade 4.2 and just uh, applying a little bit on my face and then dabbing it into my skin with the Real Techniques Miracle Perfector sponge. For concealer, I'm using the Pack Spotlight concealer in the shade 10 Mocha, applying this under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, around my mouth, and then carving my cheekbones with it and then blending it all in with the Real Technique sponge. For setting my face in place, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to bake with it, uh, taking a little bit on the sponge, placing it on all the regions that I have placed my concealer. I like to keep it on for literally just a minute and then dust it off with the e.l.f. powder brush. For bronzer, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Bronzer, taking this on the Pack 214 brush and then applying it like you can see. For blush, I'm using this pink Maybelline blush, which I think is in the shade Coral, and then applying it with the e.l.f. stippling brush on my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Bricks and then placing it on the high points of my face with the e.l.f. highlighting brush. I'm just going over the entire pan with this brush. I'm not really selecting one particular shade. This is a really good affordable option for a highlight if you're looking for one. And then to set my face in place, I'm using the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray, spritzing it all over and then picking up any excess product with this flat sponge. For my eyes, I'm using the Morphe 15S palette, which is a social butterfly palette. To start with, I'm taking this very green uh, eyeshadow in the palette, which is called Mean Girls. And I'm taking this on the flat pack 310 brush and just placing this all over my lid to lay a good base. And then taking the pack 311 brush, which is a buffing brush, and just buffing this uh, color into my crease, making sure the edges are well blended. Then taking this brown shade called Add, and then uh, again uh, going in with my crease with the same brush to add a transition color. For my eyeliner, I'm using this 3-in-1 eye pencil from Miniso and drawing a reverse winged liner for this look. Like I said, I'm trying to experiment with all different makeup styles in this series and so I was just trying to do that. So I'm just going to draw the outline with this eyeliner and then fill it in with the L'Oreal uh, Gel Eyeliner Pot, taking this on a e.l.f. eyeliner brush and then just filling in the gap. I've not showed the eyeshadow but there's this uh, matte black eyeshadow in the palette called off camera and I'm just uh, setting this gel eyeliner with that eyeshadow so that it does not bleed. Then taking this color called Squared Goals which is a shimmering green color and with the Pack 202 brush which is a thin pencil brush I'm very specifically placing this just in the inner one thirds of my eye to add a little sheen to the eye look. 
then taking the eyebrow pencil side of that same mini so eye pencil which is a grey shade and then filling in my eyebrows with it. After I filled in my eyebrows I'm taking this spoolie brush from Amazon and just making sure all my hairs are in place and since I forgot to add a brow bone highlight I'm just taking the white shade in that revolution shimmer brick and placing it with my finger. For mascara I'm using the NYX Worth the Hype mascara and applying it on my top as well as bottom lashes. For lipstick I'm using the Lakme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Lipstick in the shade Maple Map, a really nice peachy nude color to tie this very very bold eye look together. For lashes I'm applying the Glomia Beauty Lashes in the style Soho, once again a very very dramatic style to add and complement to this dramatic eye look. For earrings, I'm adding this very bulky gold pair that once again I've gotten from Manish Market in 4 bungalows. And then to do my hair in the most pathetic style possible, I'm taking this tail comb and uh, drawing up a middle partition. My hair was having a very bad day. So I've just drawn a middle partition and then twisted some hair on both sides and like secured it with bobby pins on both ends. To complete this beautiful outfit, I'm taking this green and gold chunni which is actually hand stitched and so I'm just draping it over my shoulders. You can literally style this chunni in any way possible. You can take it like a normal dupatta around your neck or you can even tuck it in like a sari. So this completes the entire look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did then please don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. Click on that big red subscribe button down below and join the family and I will see you tomorrow for the next day of Navrangi Navratri. Bye guys, love y'all.